In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new Google Sites. So it just came out in late November. I think it was the 21st. And uh, now it's available to everyone. So uh, you'll see that when you go into sites.google.com, you'll still have a list of your old sites. So your old sites don't go away. You can still see your deleted sites. You can see the new Google Sites here. But if you go and create, you can actually create a classic site or a new site. So um, I've done a tutorial on the classic site, but now I'm going to do a tutorial on the new site. So click on create new sites. This will bring up a new blank site for you. It looks a little bit different than it did before, and it's a little bit uh, different of a layout. I'm going to skip the tour for now. So think of it as, uh, in a sense, like boxes on your page so that just keep going down and down and down. So little like frames or spaces on your page. So here, if you wanted to change your title, my home page, it's fine. Enter the site name, so that's right here, my site, and that changes it up there. Uh, across the top, undo, you obviously have your preview here, you can add editors, you can uh, publish it, and then there's the site analytics and feedback and help if you wanted to get into that. So right here, you can change the image. So if you wanted to change the image, you can change the image background. There's lots here. So maybe I wanted that one. Select. Now that changes the, the top part of my page. So before I get into insert, I'm going to get into themes. So there's quite a few different themes. But once you choose a theme, you can't really mess around with the colors too much. So I'm going to choose this, impression, and then maybe a yellow or maybe a green and here's the font style Frank or I actually like to capital a little bit better so impression so here you have your different themes so not too many but um, enough that it looks nice and simple uh, pages if you wanted to add a new page right now we have a home page we'll just do second page now I have my second page here. So again, editing home page there, second page, and you can see across the top you have your two different links. So if you wanted to edit that, you just click here. You can do side navigation or top navigation. So for your home page, if you wanted to add stuff to that, you would click on insert. And then if you wanted to add text, you would just click on text and now you have a text box that's here and you can start typing you have your menu you can change the color if you want uh, if you wanted to do that you can add links and then code font, straight through, clear formatting all those different things so that's how you add a text section if you wanted to add an image you would just click on image and you can search for images, so let's say school. So we'll select that one, select. Now we have a school image in here. Now, when I double clicked on the image area, right now there's no text here, but it allows me to create an extra section right next to the image so I can add some text, I can add a file for my drive, I can upload something, I can add a URL. Uh, I'm going to do text here. So this could be a description of my image. And so that'll go down. So if you want it to, you can actually, with these little bars here you can actually drag that over here so everything is drag and drop so wherever you want it left or right and then you can actually bring that down too so it's how you want to organize it you can even bring it up there expand that out so wherever you want to put it whatever background you want and then even if you want it this part this section up above the green section you can just drag that up there and now it's up there all right, if you want to, I did text and images so far. You can do a URL, so google.com, and now you have a link. You can add a picture there, too, if you want. So you can add stuff from your drive. 
So maybe um, you just click on from drive and then it brings up your drive specifically and then stuff that you can put in. So let's say this one, I'm going to insert this. That's a little presentation that I did. Now it's a Google slide. Other things you can do, YouTube videos. So again, I'll search for one of my videos. So comprehensive Google Sites, that's the old Google Sites. I'm going to click on select. And now we have a video in there, a YouTube video that plays right in there. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, however, uh, whatever size you want. And then the settings are all right there. So you can insert docs, slides, sheets, forms, charts, whatever, whatever you want to do. And then these are all, you can drag that up and have this next to each other, or two videos next to each other, or text. And again, think of it as just placeholders, and then you put the things in the correct space that you want, and you can organize it how you want. So that's pretty much an overview of the site. Uh, you can click on preview, so that will preview it to see what it looks like. The nice thing that preview does here that it didn't do before is, well, you still have your second page and home page, but down at the bottom, it actually breaks it down into a tablet view, a computer view, and a smartphone view. So if I did a smartphone, this is what it's going to look like. If I do a tablet, that's what it's going to look like, and on a computer, this is what it's going to look like. So we'll get out of here, I'll click the X. And then uh, adding editors straightforward, just like everything else in Google. And then publish. If you want it, a site location, I allow my site to appear in search. So my site. So then it checks. We'll just do three, four. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I guess we need something else. That one can't be taken. Okay. So my site, 34343HFHD, um, I just click on publish, and now I actually have a URL that I can share with somebody else. And then publishing options, um, there it is. All right, so that's a pretty much a brief overview of the new Google Sites, so I hope that helps we get started. Thanks for watching.